In this video, I'll show you the Castle Roulette strategy, one of the best roulette systems out there that allows for a total table coverage, meaning it covers 100% of the numbers that can come up. In today's game, I went from 100 euros to 200 euros in just 10 minutes. But how does it work? How could it make you win if you're 100% covered? And is it truly unbeatable? Well, watch the video till the end to find out everything. Welcome to Ninja Gamblers the ultimate destination for quality casino content. Here you can find the latest info as strategies for roulette, blackjack, poker, slots, and more. If you want to stay ahead of the game and be best equipped to try and beat the casinos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. In the link in the description of this video, you can also find a link to our Telegram channel where we share extra content that never makes it to YouTube. And you can also find a list of safe licensed casinos we recommend with free money bonuses that they offer. Okay guys, I'm super excited today because we're opening up a new world on this channel that we've never touched before, the world of castle roulette strategies. Today is just the first of a lot of advanced variations of this method, which we'll explore one by one in the upcoming videos. Today is the foundation essential for understanding all future variations. These are really powerful and interesting methods used by many pros I met on my trip to Las Vegas last October. Essentially, the basic concept is that you start with a bet covering 100% of all numbers, meaning whatever number comes up on the roulette, we're going to win something. I will explain and show you in detail in a second. As I'm currently in Europe, I will play in a European casino with euros, but obviously this method can be played with any currency dollars, pounds, euros, or anything else. Just make sure you're in a safe casino that is legal in your country. In fact, as usual, I must quickly warn you about playing in unlicensed online casinos, which can lead to legal and financial problems. Engaging in such casinos can be illegal in some places and may expose you to scams, rigged games, and loss of money. These casinos often operate from tax havens and can vanish, leaving you with no way to retrieve your funds. We strongly suggest that you only play in certified online casinos licensed by reputable agencies. You'll find a list of safe and verified casinos in your country in the video description below, many of which offer free bonuses to new players. For a secure gaming experience, stick to these trustworthy brands. For our American friends out there, each US state has different regulations regarding what online casinos are legal and what are not, and some states only accept social casinos. In a few words, wherever you are in the world, in the link in the description, you can easily find what casinos are safe and regulated in your country. Let's get started with this castle method. Get your sword and armor ready knights, get prepared, because with these methods I'll be making lots of references to medieval castles. Here we are, I've started with a balance of 100 euros. Let's see if I can double it. First off, this method is based on a series of defensive walls, inspired by a medieval castle with various levels of ramparts. The first wall, called the curtain, must cover 100% of the castle's perimeter meaning we need to be 100% covered on our roulette. In this basic variation, here's what we'll do. First, we'll place five euros on the first dozen, like this. This way, I'm covered with all the numbers from one to 12, and if we win, we'll earn a total of 15 euros, having bet five. Okay, we'll do the same on the second dozen, another five euros. So I'm covered with all the numbers from one to 24. Now for the remaining numbers. We'll select a 50 cent bet and place these 50 cents on the last two sheets, the six line bets, covering numbers 25 to 36, and finally, 50 cents on zero. This way, we have two six line bets that pay three euros if we win, and zero that pays 18 euros if we hit it. So, we have 100% coverage, as you can see here. In practice, we'll win in every case, whatever number comes out of the roulette. Of course, winning every time doesn't mean that the win is always enough to cover our bet. In practice, we're betting 11 euros and 50 cents each round. And three things can happen. If one of the numbers covered by the first two dozen comes out, we win 15 euros, making a profit of 3 euros and 50 cents. If zero comes out, we make 18 euros and thus a profit of 6 euros and 50 cents. However, if a number from 25 to 36 comes out, we only win 3 euros, resulting in a loss of 8 euros and 50 cents. Now, if this happens, we've tried to minimize the loss with this initial wall, but just like in a medieval castle, when the enemy breaches the first wall, we present them with a series of other walls of different types to block them one way or another. We'll see how that works shortly. Let's spin for now. 
Okay, there we go. The last case just happened. We won three euros and thus lost eight euros and 50 cents. This is the Barbican of the strategy. I'll explain what that means later. Essentially, now we try to stop the enemy who has infiltrated inside the walls with a series of internal walls. First, we throw a double on red and black. And we won. I placed eight euros and 50 cents, the amount just lost, on black the opposite colour to the one that just came up. And by doubling, I've recovered everything. This is a classic move we always use in our other methods. But be careful because this is just one variation. We'll do others shortly. Now, back to our outer walls. We've defended the castle well from the attack and so we return to our base position. Five euros on the first two dozens and 50 cents on the last two street bets and on zero. Let's go. Darn. Here's the Barbican attacked again. We lost eight euros and 50 cents, so we go back to the first defensive wall. Eight euros and 50 on the color opposite to the one that just came up. One. So I've recovered everything, but unfortunately I'm still only at 100 euros because the Barbican was attacked twice. Back to the base bet. There we go guys, we start winning. In this case, one of the numbers from the first two dozen came out, so I won a profit of three euros and 50 cents. Let's keep going. Good, one again. Let's move on. One again. As you can see, when there's no Barbican attack, we start making a lot of money very quickly, making three and a half euros per hit. Now, for example, I've made 10 euros in just a few seconds. Moving on. One again, awesome. Let's keep going. Good going, let's proceed. And we're already over 20 euros made in just a few seconds. Darn, here they come attacking the Barbican again. Those numbers from 25 to 36 where we actually lose eight euros and 50 cents. So we move to the second defensive wall, eight euros and 50 on red, the opposite color to the one that just came up. One, attack repelled. So, back to the outer wall, our base bet. And we're back to winning, again. Good going. And here's the Barbican again, eight euros and 50 on black. One, so we go back to the base bet. Another Barbican, eight euros and 50 on red. One, and back to base. Now, for those of you thinking this is just the usual recovery method, wait, because we haven't yet delved into the essence of the layered defensive methods of the castle system. Another Barbican, so eight euros and 50 on black. Right, finally we lose. This is where the method really differs from the various doubling methods we've seen in the past. First, I'll make a round to show you what we would have done with doubling. We would have simply doubled until we won, like I did just now and won, thus recovering everything. However, in the castle method, we'll do something different. I'll show you shortly. Back to the outer wall, the base bet. Here's the Barbican. So, the first round of the inner wall is the usual red and black, eight euros and 50 on red, the opposite color to the one that just came up. Now, let's try once more with the normal doubling method. Did you see what happened? We won, yes, but doubled many times before getting the win and thus recovering everything. This is because we're repeating the same bet, as if it were a castle with three walls, but with a hole on the same wing of the castle. Very easy to pass through all the walls in one go. Okay. Now that another Barbican has come out, I'll finally show you the solution to the castle method. Instead of always going with the same type of defensive wall, we need to confuse the enemy with a layering of different methods, one after another like defensive walls. In this case, I'll recover my eight euros and 50 by betting on the five streets, the six line bets apart from the one of the number that just came out. I'll bet 10 euros to win an extra 10, thus making a bit of profit. In this way, I'm doing something different and not always the same red and black recovery. Let's spin. 
we won 60 euros and thus 10 in profit, recovering the 8 euros and 50 cents we needed. Back to the initial wall bet. And we're back to winning. And there we fit the Barbican again. So we go with the first inner wall, 8 euros and 50 on black. One, so back to the outer wall. And we're back to winning. Okay, so what's this Barbican I keep mentioning? It's an allegory to the medieval castle and an essential concept upon which the strategy is based. The Barbican was the reinforced gate of a castle, which is effectively the weak point of a wall, being a door that could be broken down. A door is necessary for a castle, but the role of the Barbican is to make this weakness as strong as possible, being reinforced. So, what does this mean in our roulette strategy? The Barbican is that part of our total coverage where we do win, yes, but not enough to recover the bet made, and therefore we must recover the lost difference. The fact is that every coverage method has a risk, as we either double or make various multiplications to recover, so the lower the initial doubling number, the better. When doubling, even one euro less initially makes a difference. This is actually a rather mild variation on the Barbican, as instead of having to double 11 euros and 50, you're doubling 8 and 50. But there are advanced variations that minimize what the Barbican lets through, thus leading to double and recover as little as possible. We'll see all of these in future videos. So, let's recap. This strategy is like a medieval castle. We start with an initial wall, which is our bet that covers 100% of the table. But it has a weak point, the Barbican, which is the numbers where we win less than what we bet. If any other number comes out, we win. But if the Barbican comes out, we lose a bit of money that we need to recover. But instead of just doubling several times, we recover this money with a sequence of different methods, which vary depending on the variation of this game being played. The sequence I'm using now starts with a simple doubling on red or black, so 8 euros and 50 on the colour opposite to the one that just came out. And then if we lose in that case, instead of doubling again, I'll alternate it by putting 10 euros on each 6 line bet, apart from the one of the number that just came out. I therefore have a 3 wall defence system in place. Ok, while we were talking, I've reached over 200 euros in balance. Starting from 100 euros, this means I've doubled my balance in practically 10 minutes. Not bad, right? This was a simple variation, a rather mild Barbican and three walls, the initial bet, a doubling in red or black, and a five streets bet. As you can imagine, this system can be complicated in a thousand ways, creating a series of layers of different and opposing inner walls, and even the Barbican can be fortified making initial losses as minimal as possible. Of course, I want to emphasise that no wall is impenetrable, or in non-medieval terms, no recovery guarantees a win. And even if you have an initial play that covers all numbers and minimises losses, there's still a risk of loss involved in trying to win. Otherwise, the game wouldn't be worth the candle. So, as always, remember to keep this in mind. In any case, I consider this one of the best methods, perhaps indeed the best for roulette, especially when using complex systems that we'll see in the future. So, this was the first video on the castle roulette strategy. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. I tried to reply to all of them. Over the next weeks, we'll publish more videos about advanced variations of the castle system. So if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. I also remind you that in the link in the description, you can find a list of safe and certified online casinos in your country and in each US state. I recommend using certified casinos if you want peace of mind and to avoid scams, rigged games, or even playing in illegal casinos in your country and having trouble with the law. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon, ninjas.